All right. Welcome back to the channel that has got the brap. And we're going to talk some brap. Well, we're going to talk about a motor that usually doesn't have that much brap. So the RX-8 or Renesis block is often known as uh, not necessarily being a great block to boost. But we're trying to change that reputation. So what we've done at Mazda Tricks and KMR in the past is when people do want to boost a Renesis block, we recommend some studding. Now you've got some options. Obviously, if you're trying to really push a lot of PSI, a lot of horsepower, fully studding the block is the way to go. But in a lot of cases, especially with RX-8s, people just want a mild performance upgrade. You know, just a little turbo, a little boost goes a long way with most rotary engines. You slap a 7 PSI, 10 PSI on a Renesis, a little street port, some studs, upgrade your fuel system, an ECU, and now you've got a car that's actually a lot of fun to drive. Um, and obviously reliability is key. Reliability is important. We've got to be able to keep these motors running, not only running, but running strong. So studying has been a big part of rotary advancement, um, whether it's the 13Bs, your traditional turbo blocks, or your 20Bs, one of the ways we've really enhanced performance capabilities is by utilizing oversized studs, uh, which allow a better clamping pressure, uh, more even clamping pressure, and limits the twist and pressure fluctuation expansion of the block. One of the common areas that rotaries break are along this upper oil gallery where you've got your OEM dowel pins. Um, I am not a huge fan of solid dowel pins. So for me, I'd much rather stud the block and run the OEM oil system, thereby um, keeping the block functioning in more of a stock trim um, there's no problem with the OEM oil system. They work great. Um, it's more likely to have a problem with a uh, direct fed oil system. So um, although people do opt for those solid dowel pins, it's not necessary if you stud the block and often leads to uh, problems. Unless you're building, again, like a, a land speed car or a drag car, then call me, talk to me. We'll do a cons consultation. We'll work it out. Um, but for your average RX-8 build, I think seven studs is a great option if you're not gonna go full stud. Um, this will allow some PSI. It will stop the block from fatiguing and cracking along your oil uh, galleries or your dowel pin uh, points. Um, the RX-8 block is not inherently strong or thick from the factory, so this really is vital to any boosted RX-8. On top of this, I would cut the RX-8 apex seal grooves to a modern two millimeter deep groove seal. Um, and that would also give a lot more apex seal options. Um, and if you're going to boost a block, then running one of the seals that does not uh, necessarily break under detonation is a, another great way to kind of enhance reliability um, and allow for more performance potential with less um, potential of, uh, of catastrophic issue. Um, this particular block is all new components. Um, you don't have to go all new. <clears throat> I'll stud uh, any arrangement of components you like as long as they seem viable. But your Renesis components, um, if the block has 100,000 miles on it, you're going to need new rotor housings. A lot of the times you do get uh, shrinkage around your exhaust ports, especially if, if the engine has had some type of water, uh, water system failure. You have such a high heat concentration here, it's likely to cause warpage. So one thing you can do is you can lap or resurface, um, but right now these parts are readily available. So in this particular case, a great way to go. Um, brand new set of cast iron plates, side housings, and a brand new pair of rotor housings with the seven stud option. So this is going to be a strong, um, reliable uh, package that's easily duplicatable for anybody who's interested. So uh, there you have it. We've got a stud supporting our lower dowel pin. We've got multiple studs com supporting the compression stroke and upper dowel pin. And then we've got stabilization, um, both near intake 
and exhaust, which also supports your lower dowel pin. Um, I wouldn't do any less than this. Um, and it's notable that these three in the RX-8 are slightly longer, and we do make custom studs for that, but it does lead, in, lead into uh, flywheel interference for OEM flywheels and some aftermarket. Um, so traditionally, I think this is our most popular layout for the Renesis. Um, it would be slightly different for your 13Bs or other packages. And again, if you're really going for high horsepower, then a full stud might be the best way to go. But uh, there you have it. I think that's a brap. Renesis block, studding, boosting, it's doable. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. Seven to 10 pounds of boost, street port, some studding. You got a ripper right here. Very fun package. Obviously does require fuel system upgrade and tuning. Um, aftermarket ECU, there's some work to be done. But that would be the same for most high performance rotary packages. All right, that's a wrap. Back to work. Thanks for watching. KMR. Make sure to hit that subscribe, hit that, hit that thumbs up. We appreciate it.